So, typically you have taken certain random numbers from the census and you pick them up using the random table. A ho gaya? Simple random sampling. Now, this is suitable for small homogeneous group and it is random. That means each unit in the sampling frame has an equal probability of getting selected. Bhagavan upar wale hai na? Wo sabko eki nazar se dekhta hai doctor. He will give everybody an opportunity. If you are good in singing, you may not be good in speaking. You may be good in speaking, but you may not be able to sing. You may have a lot of hair, but you may have pimples. Another guy don't have hair at all, but he may have good eyes. So God is the best example of simple random sampling. Hareko equal opportunity data hai. Only we need to recognize what we are good in. Systematic sampling. It is similar to simple random sample, but no random numbers are used. And uh, typically in this systematically, every third bande ko pakdo aur usko need PG mein seat de do. Right? Bol diye to aap. You will run and check where is the third position. Right? So that is systematic sampling. Advantage. Sample is easy to select. You can be able to pick up the suitable sampling frame easily. Sample evenly spread over entire reference population is cost effective. But because of that hidden periodicity in population, there can be a bias which can occur at the time of selection. Selection bias can be there. Each element does not get equal chance. If you are third position, pick up hoga second year first chance each day so not equal chance that's the point you need to understand so every 20th person in the yellow pages if you have picked up that becomes a systematic sampling then comes the stratified random sample the population is being divided into two or more groups Two or more groups called strata according to some criteria, like all people belonging to Nagpur, geographical location, grade level or age or income, and accordingly, a population may 60 and above a strata, 50 to 40, 50 to 40, one strata, 40 to 30, another strata, like that. If you have stratified, that becomes stratified random. Is called proportionate stratified, disproportionate stratified sampling. We'll get two methods here. If you draw a sample from each stratum in proportion to their share in total population, for example, you have divided them into 60 age group, wale, 50 age group, wale, 40 age group, wale, different state of area. But 60 age group, wale, there are only 500 people, but 50 age group wale 1000 hai. So, this strata mein 50, 50 age group wale strata mein 60 age group wale strata se bhi dugna, two times more. Is liye yaha se nikal ne pick up karne wale sample mein 5 people ko, 6 people ko pick up kiya. Yaha 60 age group wale jahan only 500 are there in that population you picked up only three people so suppose the number of people you are picking up from each strata if it is proportionate to the number of total number of people in that each of the strata that is called proportionate stratified sampling otherwise it is called disproportionate right now what are the advantages and disadvantages? The representativeness is much better than a simple uh, random sampling. It has a higher statistical efficiency, easy to carry out. But once more, classification error, it is time consuming. Prior knowledge of the composition of the distribution of the entire population must be known to you. Kitre log 60 mein hai, kitre log 50 mein hai, wo sab malum hai aapko. 
so that is the reason uh, भारत बहुत बड़ा देश है so you want to look for do a study about uh, hiv incidents ab bharat ke every state ko nahi liya khali andhra pradesh odisha telangana aur haryana ko liya so first you have chosen what are the areas then within that area you have picked up ए सैंपल को पिकअप किया इसलिए इसको बोलते हैं क्लस्टर्स क्लस्टर्स दैट्स व्हाट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड सो इफ यू टेक अ विलेज दिस एरिया नॉर्थ दिल्ली दिस एरिया इन साउथ दिल्ली वैसा क्लस्टर्स लिया क्लस्टर्स से सैंपलिंग लिया उसको बोलते हैं क्लस्टर सैंपलिंग नो वन द एडवांटेज इट कट्स डाउन ऑन द कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग ए सैंपलिंग फ्रेम विद एडवांटेज सैंपलिंग एरर इज हायर compared to for a given sim, uh, simple random sample of same size compared to simple random sampling cluster sampling has a greater sampling error quite often vaccine control vaccine vaccination efficiency and vaccination uh, effectiveness ko check karne ke liye aap cluster sampling karte Similarly, sexual transmitted is also cluster sampling, right? Now, what is the main difference between strata and cluster? All strata are represented in the sample. People go different age groups. We divide करके strata बनाया, मगर every group से invariably pick up कर रहे हैं. Whereas in the case of the cluster. only a subset of the clusters are in the sample so that is the main difference between strata and cluster now doctor for an epidemiological study every 10th person has been selected now punch your answer doctor punch your answer every 10th person is being selected from the population so this type of sampling is called as come on How many of you are very sleepy? Almost quarter to twelve. Yes. So Gagan Kubeir is telling uh, systematic random sampling. Absolutely right, doctor. Regarding the sample size, what is true about sample size? If you increase the sample size, क्या होता? The standard error of the mean will decrease. confidence interval will narrow down it decreases the alpha error it will increase the power of test it will increase not decrease the power of test 
भैया अभी टू थ्री पॉइंट है जरा टेंशन है अल्फा एरर क्या है बीटा एरर क्या है पावर ऑफ टेस्ट क्या है पहला वो समझ लिए तो आप पूरा बात ही समझ लेता नाउ व्हाट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ सैंपल साइज हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर नियरली स्लीपी डॉक्टर प्लीज टेल हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर स्लीपी जरा बायोस्टैटिस्टिक्स बोले तो स्लीपी सब्जेक्ट है फिर भी इसको इंटरेस्टिंग बनाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं हम द लार्जर द सैंपल साइज सैंपल्स हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेट द स्टैंडर्ड एरर ऑफ मीन डॉक्टर स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन डिवाइडेड बाय स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ द सैंपल साइज इफ यू हैपन टू इंक्रीज the sample size it is in the denominator no doctor it is inversely related so denominator ka value bad gaya to ye value kya hota kam ho jata so that is the reason the standard error of the mean will decrease if you increase the sample size is what you need to remember 